Okay. Point. Any any other uh, anyone else here who has any uh, input on uh, what Bubinke just analyzed? Can I quickly mm. add? Uh, go on, Bubinke. Yeah, I see that the Torish tech plant is cut off, and I see that they're tr the VS is trying to capture the Torish recycling depot and main tower, which is quite interesting. In my opinion, capturing the territory while you're is being cut off, which is a good pop sync for the VS. Hmm. So, I think I think the VS they came from Crossroad and they they took the tech plant, but then they got cut off at Torish Depot again. Yeah. That's so an if they could manage, site. yeah, if they could manage to get the Burgess overlooked and then the Scarred Mason Torish recycling, maybe they can get the huge chunk. Or yeah. Oh, there you go. They took the Torish tower, so the Torish Depot is now cut off. Mm. All right. Uh, again. <laughs> Again, uh, I will uh, just quickly input here that it's important to consider the whole Torridge area as symbolized with the yellow square there. All of these bases, it's one big fight at this point. So it's no, it's not four isolated fights. Yeah, true. It's important to remember. And because they're fighting so intensely over there, this is a perfect situation now for TR to really start pushing back. Um, they are. Which they are, which they are, yes. Somewhat. Uh, I would... the hacker. Yeah, the hacker they took. But the VS is taking the server of data storage back, or trying to at least. My, uh, my personal input, strategically speaking, right now would be to not push too hard on the NC. It's only one NC platoon is currently stuck on uh, Camp Waterson, and that place will hold. There's no doubt about that. Uh, keep the NC fighting the VS. NC is likely to to uh, retaliate towards the VS. So the VS is going to be weak, and then we have an opportunity to take a huge chunk away from the the VS now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Like just cutting that off because they're too busy in the biolab fighting, whilst there's like a major overpop in the hacker uplink. So they will most likely go down Corona Med Labs and then go to in, in the activation site, cutting that whole portion up for us. Yep, exactly. Like a slice of cake. It seems like an outfit. One of ours that's tactical, that's trying to do that. So you see, again, I, I uh, drew another square up on server by lab. If you add those bases together, you'll see that we have... It's actually... It's a slight pop sync for the VS. So they have more people defending there. Than they have actually, uh, uh, than we have attacking. Um, something to notice here with the biolab fight the fight between server data storage, the north base, and the biolab itself it is quite possible that there's vehicles in the terrain fighting. Now, that's something to keep in mind as well. When you're picking fight, if fights, if you see that the bases are sort of uh, friendly towards vehicles. The terrain is friendly towards vehicles, and you see uh, sort of explosions around the base in the terrain. Then you know there's probably vehicles going there, which means that on the actual capture point, there's less population than the hex would indicate. So we're talking about effective population, and that's those who are contesting the point versus those who are fighting in the hex. So sometimes when you see a massive enemy number on a base, uh, it might be a vehicle convoy forming up or pushing through or fighting. So if you drop on the actual base, you will have less, much less infantry to fight. So you, that's something to keep in mind when you're viewing the map. Uh, yeah, as, as you guys pointed out, there's there's an outfit, seems like it's Renegades are pushing Cora Med Labs now. Um, strategically, good decision. However, clear sign that the whoever's leading is prioritizing conquest. And perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with that. We're in an alert and they're pushing a base. However, both, I think the Hacker Amplink Hub and Cora Med Labs have been empty fights, which means they're pushing their players into 
uh, well it's like four minutes each base plus logistics between so at least 10 minutes without fighting so that is something to keep in mind as well um, be careful so you don't put players in uh, meat grinders or ghost caps because if there's new players trying to experience the game and this is what they see they're less likely to log on next time and if you lead like this and you have you have more experienced players in your outfit they're also going to get frustrated if this is what you prioritize first and foremost foremost with their time because you are you are uh, what's the right word you're managing you're shepherding people's time when you're leading 